one. So I'm gonna do something a little special. I'm gonna tell you guys a little story. Um, today, if you've ever watched Ghost Adventures, I am at the old Alton Bridge or Goatman's Bridge. Hey everyone, before we get started in the video, I thought I would just hop on here and read this article to you guys about the history of Goatman's Bridge or Old Alton Bridge. I'm not going to read the, the whole thing because it's pretty long, so I'll link it in the description down below, but I wanted to at least go over the story behind Goatman and, you know, what I heard growing up <laughs> here in North Texas. So, according to the most circulated version, an African-American entrepreneur named Oscar Washburn and his family tended a farmstead goat herd near the bridge that was renowned for quality meat, milk, cheeses, and hides. When the popular businessman proudly hung a sign on the old Alton Bridge directing this way to goat man, it infuriated local KKK who plotted violence. On a dark night in the late 1930s, a lynch mob of Kluxers stormed Washburn's shack and dragged the screaming goat man to their noose waiting on the bridge. They tightened the rope around the begging Oscar's neck, then flung him over the side. But when the night riders stumbled down to the dark river's edge to confirm their murderous handiwork, they were shocked to find only an empty noose dangling over undisturbed waters. The panicked Klansmen frantically searched the area unsuccessfully before rushing to Washburn's shack, setting it afire with the Goatman's family shrieking inside. Perhaps to bait a desperate rescue attempt by the vanished Oscar. Washburn was never seen again they say, but a vengeful spirit has haunted the old Alton Bridge ever since. Local legend says, if you knock on the steel bridge three times at midnight, or perhaps turn off your car lights and honk three times in summons, then you dare a visitation from the vengeful goat man that proceeded by the stench of decaying flesh. Numerous reports tell of unholy glowing eyes that burn red from the darkness, eerie glimpses of a large, snarling goat-headed man-beast stomping in the wooded shadows. So there's a little bit of the story of Goatman and what I've heard. I've definitely heard about the honking and the lights turning off. I don't think we tried, you know, doing that or we never tried knocking on the bridge, so I don't know. Maybe, you know, maybe if we end up going back there, we'll try it. But, but there you go. There's a little bit of the history of Goatman. The old Alton Bridge was built in 1884, so it's a super old bridge. They used to use it, you know, to cross. Um, now it's just there. People go there to go fishing. <laughs> And, you know, I, we used to go camping back in the woods there. If you've seen the Ghost Adventures episode, the woods that they go, you know, walking in behind, well, actually, yeah, it's behind the bridge. Um, we used to go in those woods and go camping. The last time I was there prior to today was back in 2008, between 2008 and 2010. So, you know, it was way before Ghost Adventures came out there. And now it seems like there's a lot more people there. And there's a lot of graffiti. I noticed there's a lot of graffiti. I don't think there was as much graffiti or there wasn't any graffiti the last time I was there. Um, until now. So I know it's more of a hot spot ever since Ghost Adventures came out. Now that you guys have a little bit of the history, a little bit of the story of Goatman's, continue watching then. I've never experienced anything paranormal, anything crazy out here because we used to go camping out in the backwoods. And I'm gonna turn the camera around and you'll be able to see 
the bridge. Uh, there's actually some people fishing on the bridge because you can go fishing out here. There's a game warden, uh, game wardens that will come out and check your, for your fishing license and all the other crap. <laughs> but I'm just gonna show you guys what that bridge looks like. so there's a lot of people here it says goat man they spray painted it <laughs> the sign since ghost adventures investigated this area there's a lot of people here plus there's already people that know that you can fish out here and everything so there's just more people than i expected to be out here we used to go camping out in these backwoods i'm walking the trail that's just you can see goat man's bridge behind me so it's just in front of Goatman's. There's a long trail out here that people like to walk and they'll go down by the bank and go fishing and everything. Well, my friends and I, we would camp in these woods and it was probably around like 2008 and it was on Halloween and we would scare a bunch of kids that would come out here when we go camping. So um, just for the heck of it, but we've never experienced anything paranormal out here. Um, I think that's just, <laughs> I don't know, maybe some something or some people did some ceremonies or something like that and brought something out here. But there's plenty of like places where you can set up like little tent. And that's good to know because one of these nights, maybe one of these nights we'll go camping out here again. Um, it was so much fun at nighttime and usually when we went it would be you know pretty cool outside so there wasn't a lot of bugs i know in the ghost adventures episode there's like a lot of spiders and stuff but when it's like cooler outside it's not very bad especially you know if you have to get up in the middle of the night <laughs> and you're female and you have to go to the restroom but <laughs> yeah just walking these trails It, let me, uh, I'll, you know, tell you guys a story. <laughs> so I wasn't 21 yet and we just set up, you know, camp and it was just me, my husband, who was my boyfriend at the time and a bunch of his friends. And they had like machetes and axes so that they could cut down some of the trees out here so that we can have a fire going and, and all that. Well, um, Man, it's kind of overgrown. <laughs> but uh, we would start a fire and and cook and all the other stuff. Well, one day we decided, we decided to, you know, um, camp on Halloween night. Well, of course, there's a bunch of kids that came out because they know about this area, <laughs> looking to be spooked or to find something. Well, this trail down here, we were walking down this trail and all we had, we had like, I think an ax or a machete in our hands and then we had a lantern. And then down this trail here were some kids coming up the trail and it was nighttime, okay? So they couldn't really see our faces, it was nighttime. So they're coming down this trail and so were we with our lantern and it was just a group of us and there was probably only like three kids coming down this trail over here well you know they decided to say hi you know and we never responded to them <laughs> and then all of a sudden we turn our lantern off and then we just start running after them and they just took off running back to the bridge and then I did this deathly curling scream and it was just so funny because when I screamed, thank goodness no cops were called or a game warden came out or anything like that. But um, when I screamed, you could hear all the kids at the bridge scream. It was just hilarious. And I'll always remember it. It was the funniest thing. Whenever we got to the bridge, um, 
one of our friends decided to pick up another one of our friends and put him over his shoulder and pretend, and the guy that was over his shoulder pretended to be dead. And then there's like, at the time there's like a Boy Scouts of America bench that he like laid him out on and he just hit the bench, you know, cold, like real hard and everything, like he was actually dead. And those kids were like, are you serious? Are you serious? And then all of a sudden our friend got up from the bench and, and we're all like, oh no, we're just kidding. <laughs> And it was just so hilarious and they wanted us to scare their friends when their friends arrived. So that was just a little fun, little history <laughs> about, or, you know, a little fun little thing that we did out here at Goatman's Bridge. <laughs> but yeah, and the, it's kind of overgrown, but further down this trail, we set up camp, you know, a little further away from the, the bridge, but closer towards like the creek area and everything we would, you know, set out, set up our tent in the back here in the woods and cut down wood and, and just have, you know, fun, you know, grill hot dogs and, you know, just have a lot of fun and, and all that, um, and hang out and, and then listen to the coyotes because, and then like at nighttime when you're sleeping in the tent, you could hear like little rodents and everything run around your tent and everything. So, it, you know, Camping outdoors, what do you expect? But, uh, you know, nothing nothing too crazy. There wasn't any um, anything paranormal that happened or anything. I'm glad I didn't get bit by a snake or anything while I got up in the middle of the night to use the restroom. Uh, <laughs> but just a little history there. Man, I, it is, it's been forever since I checked the trail back here but it's pretty grown. And the last time I was here, the last time we went camping out here, I was not even 21 yet. So it was probably in like 2008, 2009. Well, it was probably after I graduated. So like 2009, 2010, 2011, um, somewhere around there, maybe 2010. Um, so, it could have been, yeah, early. So sometime around then, so way before Ghost Adventures did their little thing out here. But one of these days I should return at nighttime and bring a bunch of our friends out here and maybe we'll do like a little, you know, camping or something like that, a little camp out and maybe do some ghost hunting or something. <laughs> we'll see if y'all are interested in something like that. I think that would be fun to do. But yeah, just a little fun little stop uh, by to chat and to go over my little story about being at uh, Goatman's Bridge and everything since now a lot of people probably know what Goatman's Bridge is since the Ghost Adventures crew came out here. But yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then give me a like. And if this is your first time clicking on my video <laughs> or seeing any of my videos, then check out my other ones too. <laughs> and I hope you like this type of content. I always, I'm always into like, I don't know, one of these days I want to go to more play at like haunted places and do some, you know, ghost hunting, that kind of thing, especially since I do have some ghost hunting equipment. I think that'd be really fun to do with friends and everything and just take y'all along with me besides opening creepy, you know, and scary mystery boxes and all that. But anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. And I'm gonna be taking pictures. So look forward to the pictures. Bye you guys. <laughs>